Good morning. This is Linda K. And this is Saturday, February the 27th, 2021. And it is 10.08 a.m. And the weather is, we've been having fog in the mornings. And it rained last night. And tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 50s. And today I think it's supposed to be in the 40s. And the snow is starting to melt, and the two piles of snow that is in front of my house that I have to park in between the two of them, they're slowly going down. So I'm real happy with that. I take it, it's going to be, I think, the worst of this two months to get it completely down and all melted. If the weather stays like it's supposed to. But according to my weather report, I think we're supposed to get some snow on sometime this next week or the week after. But I hope we don't because I don't want any more snow. I've had enough. Okay, I, uh, this is flash tube number 27. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers that have uh, subscribed to my channel since my last video. And I want to thank all of my returning viewers and for all of your comments because they make my day. I love your comments and I love getting new subscribers. So, I want to thank you all so very much, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and my sinuses have been horrible lately. Um, I have whips. I have haul. So, let's get right into it. Uh, the first whip that I want to show you. It called Witches Witch can't speak Witches of Salem and it's by the primitive hair and here's what it's gonna look like and this is a PDF copy. So that's what it's gonna look like. And I'm doing this on on 28 count like vintage light mocha I think that's the name of it I didn't bring the info I just bought the picture and my whip so here's what I got done on it so far And what I got done on it is this wing. I'm I'm almost done with this wing. I got a few more stitches to do yet, like up through here and over a little ways, and then I can start on the face. And I'm using gas threads, weak dye works, and DMC. So the house, the tree, uh, this right here, and the wing, it's all done with hand dyed threads. Either gas, mostly gas threads. And this is going to be a finish for this year. I guarantee it. It's going to be done. And this fabric, oh, it's so heavenly soft and so heavenly to stitch on. I love it. And I got it from one, two, three stitch.
So that is whip number one, and I just take a drink out of my Pepsi Cola glass, and here's. I love this glass. I got one other one just like this. Okay, the next whip is at the uh, at my country cottage needleworks, and I'm doing the. I'm not gonna show them all again because I did that last week. Um, at the country cottage needleworks frosty forest series. And I'm doing the first one with the raccoon cabin, and that's what it's going to look like. And here is what I got. I'm not going to take it out of the hood because most of just what's hiding is the, uh, the white border. But I got all of this done right here. I got all of that done. So this is the roof of the raccoon cabin. So that's my progress. Now I'm doing this on 14 count light blue Ada, which I got from one, two, three dish. And the fabric for the witches of Salem I got from one, two, three dish. And right now, the 14, this, this 14 count light blue Ada, it's not, um, uh, one, two, three, six does not have this right now. So hopefully, uh, they'll be getting it in. And I, and I, I think I took the last that they had. <laughs> And I love this fabric because the white really shows up on this fabric in person. So as soon as one, two, three, just get more of this and I am going to be buying it because I want to do the smaller pattern that has white in it on this fabric. So that is how white it is. It's even wider. I can't even get it. And the flame! There you go. And there's nine patterns to this series. And I'm doing all nine of them on this piece of fabric. And I'm doing two rows going this way and two rows going this way. To, you know, to separate them a little bit. But, here's a better. And I love this fabric because the, the uh, this is by Swagger. And it is really soft and easy to, to, <clears throat> to stitch on. So that's why I love getting, getting my fabric from one, two, three, just because they had a swagger base Ada fabric. And it's real easy to stitch on. I just love it. Oh, and by the way, this is a cat room. So excuse the mess because I cannot keep it clean due to my three three year three year old child. They love to make messes every chance he gets. Trouble. They love to make messes. Okay, that's whip number two, and I keep them in this in these vinyl plastic bags, and I get them from Amazon at a real cheap price. 
and I don't buy them as, as I need them. I don't buy a whole bunch of them all at once. Because I like this side right here because it's perfect. And the size of this one is 15 by 18 and I got it from Amazon. So if you want a bag this size for a cheap price, get it from Amazon. Because this is a perfect size for any whip that you have. I love them. Okay, whip number three is my head. And I will show you the picture of it. Not trying to show the pattern here. That's what it's going to look like. And what I got done on this is I got her her hand arm well yeah her her hand her arm done right here and I got the width of this wing done and I'm starting like underneath her elbow area and work my way across. So I'm working from here. I'm working from here to like right there. Cause that's a page. So and I'm making this for my local library. And I got the worst part of this done. So what was the confetti? And here is what I got done. I'm not going to take out of the hoop because I got right where I wanted that. But here is what it looks like. So that is a page from here all the way to the end of this right here. So that is a page. And I'm on page four right now. And I love this. So one wing at computer completely finished. Yay! And I'm and I'm doing one page at a time. So from here to here it's gonna go down. And there's like two two more columns over this way before the page ends. So, and and then once I get the two more, the, the width of the column done, going across for page four, then I'm going to go down. So this is from here to here at page four. So, I should got to finish this row out and then, then, then do the next row for page four. So I got one ring completely finished. I am so thrilled about that. Now, I'm doing this on 28 count white. So one, one over one. And there are tons of confetti in this. Tons of confetti. It's 
not easy. And I only do one block, one 10 by 10 block at a time on my head because that is the only way that I can do it without making any mistakes and know exactly right where I'm at. I do not want to get lost on my hage. And I did a long time ago. I started this one hage project and I can't even think of the name of it. I still got it and I, and I will start all over on it again. But I was going like I did like one row and then I did like proper row and then I did you know another block and for the and it was within two pages and I was completely locked on it when I want to pick it up again. <coughs> and so I thought, you know, I'm gonna start all over on that one. So sometime either this year or maybe next year, I will start all over again on it and not do what I did the last time. Because I cannot sit sit and sit on a hay from morning until night. I just can't. Number one, my eyes get very, very tired. Even though I use I use mag eyes and I I have a floral lamp magnifier that has different settings to it. And plus my I got a bone condition and um, it's called OI, OTO Genesis Imperfecta. And it causes all kinds of problems within my body. And one of the problems that it causes is that, that it causes muscle spasms really bad in my left shoulder blade area. And so if I sit and sit from morning until night, my shoulder blade area will start hurting. So I have to take breaks, longer breaks more than anything. And so I just do what I can when I can. And so, you know, some people can sit all day long and I can't. And then my one, two, three, my fourth project is hanging with some butterflies cloth. Oh, and my head, the library fairy is the artist of Randall Spangler. And then my, and then my next one is hanging with some butterflies cloth and by Gina Pike and here's what it looks like. He's so cute. But it's not for me though. But I have another another one that is gonna be for me whenever I get to it. <coughs> and Oh. And I'm doing this on 25 count. I try to do my hands on small count fabrics. But <coughs> mostly 25. So this is uh, done on 25 count white Lugana. And I'm doing it 1 over 1 and my I bear fairy, fairy done on 28 count white Dublin, 1 over 1, and this is done on 25 count 1 over 1. And that's why I got done on it. So, the real light cream color section up at the very top, going into the lighter brown areas. Uh, all of that I did since my last video.
and and I throw it over into the next column. But now I'm working my way down, so I'm finishing up. I'm finishing up this block right here. So I'm so I'm working my way down. And I'm on page two. And it is slow going. Once you get once you get the uh the lighter creamy lighter brown area done what goes all the way across that is where most of the confetti is at so once you get those sections done then the rest of it is kind of like a piece of a cake it's not so bad so yeah that is my progress on butterfly squat hanging with some butterfly squat And I'm stitching this one in hand. So those are all of my whips. And those, these, see, one, two, three, four. These four whips are, are the ones that I'm constantly working on. I'll change off every so often. But these basically are my main ones I work on all the time. I don't work on all of them every single day. I just pick one whip and work on it for a few days. Then I'll put it up. Then I'll pick out, you know, one of my other ones. And and my bags sit right next to my chair. Well, next to my end table and the living room. And then I have a glass table in my living room that has books on it because I'm a book freak. And and I keep, you know, like this, I keep in a Ziploc, you know, Ziploc regular bag and with everything in it because I um, use it, you know, four or five threads. And I keep it in a zip black bag with everything in it. And I keep it on my glass table in the living room, standing up. So that's how I... So, <clears throat> and then um, I'm also working, cause, and I cannot sew it. I'm also working on my top secret project. And I got one more short row to do. On page one, and then I can start page two. And there is confetti in this project, so that's why that's why it's taking me so long. And once once I get it done, once I get it framed, once I get it to the recipient, then I will show you what I made. And I. And I uh, started this back in January. Now, it's time to show off my haul. And I have lots of haul. <clears throat> It's called 
a year of animal fun and product and frolic. Um, uh, it's <clears throat> and they're monthly, <clears throat> and so I got the first one, and it's January, and the charts are by Tiny Mon Modernist. So that's what it looked like. So this is January. They're so cute. So I'm waiting on February to come in because uh, one, two, three, this has these. <coughs> and uh, and she didn't, they didn't have February, but they got it on order. So I'm waiting for it to come in. And I think, in fact, I think it's, it's on its way to my house. So, it's so cute. And I'm seriously thinking about doing this on all one piece of fabric. And you can get the free border chart at the tiny modernist.com uh, pages for the chart. And that's what it looked like. I was so excited to get that. <coughs> and then I got on a uh, cobweb corner website. And and uh, I found a couple. Well, one I think it's only one. I found a pattern on there that I think it is so darn cute and so adorable. I love it. Um, I call birds of a feather. I mean, the, start, let's start all over again. The, uh, the chart is by Birds of a Feather. And it's called a Christmas Hoot, H-O-O-T. And it's by Heritage Crafts. So Heritage Crafts is where the chart is from. And here is what it looked like. I think, and, and, and I am so in love with owls. I love owls. And I thought this was the cutest thing. I love it. And they all have the, you know, the different looks on their faces. <laughs> I love it. So it's part of it's by Heritage Crafts. And then there's some other ones, you know, that you can get. And so the the two that I would love to get is uh, a hoot of owls and hanging around. And night owls. So I would love to get those that they're still available. I, I'm an owl person. I I just love owls. And then the next one, and this is my unicorn chart. I love unicorns. And when I saw this on the Heaven and Earth Design website, I just had to have it. I mean, between the owls and unicorns, I'm in seventh heaven. So this one is called uh, Fairy, Fairy Whispers, matte colors. The artist is Lisa Parker. And it's a heaven and earth design chart. 
and there is there's only 235 colors in this. Only 235. That is all. Just 235. Here's what it looks like. I love this. The color in this is just gorgeous. Especially the bluish, greenish color and you know, and then the fairy, you know, holding his nose area and talking to him. It's just I love it. And Michelle at Heaven and Earth Design. She knows I love unicorns. And then, I don't know if I saw these or not, but here's another heaven and earth design. And it's called Many Birds and Blooms Garden. And by Amy Stewart. And here's what it looks like. There is the full version of this, but a little bit expensive. So, I, so when she came out with the mini version of it, then I I grabbed it. I am real happy with the mini version. And then another one as long dog samplers and it's hoity toity. I have been wanting this chart for a long time. And I haven't decided <coughs> if I'm gonna do this in, in uh gentle art, you know, sampler threads or DMC. I made to do in gentle art sample threads and I'm not changing anything about it I'm going to stitch it like it is I do not change my patterns I stitch them just as they are charted even the background I will stitch the background I don't leave nothing out and I've been that way ever since I was 13 years old when I first started doing all kinds of needlework. Uh, <coughs> now, another one is by a long dog sampler, and it's the pandemic. And I haven't decided what color I'm going to use on this yet. So, if you can use any color you want, but I haven't decided. I just may go with a variegated hand dyed variegated threads, so I don't have to keep changing colors all the time. And then, you probably seen this one already, but I'm going to show it again. Uh, Cat's Fairy Tale by Soda Stitch. These are so cute. Uh, Snow White, Little, Little Red Riding Hood, Alice in Wonderland, and Hansel and Gretel. And it's Cat's Fairy Tale by Soda Stitch. They are so cute, and I'm a cat person, as you well know. And Bob Cup has not been on my lap during this whole video. Why well, shame on him? Yeah. 
And then I think you drink this one. Uh, tea cat. Cat in a teacup. And then I got the, uh, excuse me, um, I got the, the, uh, winter 2020, winter 2021 issue of Johnny Creek Cross Disc Collection from their website. And the front cover of this is my all-time favorite. A horse and a cat. I love it. I just love this. So, and it kind of looks like butter cup a little bit. And there is some really neat. My favorite is the uh, the four season bird houses mini series. So I'm planning to just do all four of them. I love birdhouses. So that's, you know, one of my favorites. And then they got, you know, some other stuff in here as well. So this is, this is right now, well, it's been for years. But this is my all-time favorite Disney Pattern Magazine. And you can get a free pattern from them. And it's called Tropical Spirit Pattern of the Month Series, February 2021, Love. And it's free from February the 1st to the 28th. And they charge you only for shipping. And this is the one that I'm going to get. Like. This one right here. It's a picture of two dolphins. And then it's just love. Create compassion. And then there's like a cheese shell. And you know. The. Dropfish and. But I think that is so cute. And it's on its way to my house. I love it. So this one right here. Wrong one. This one right here is free until the 28th of this month. Which is today. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow. So you got until tomorrow to, to get... This one right here. So cute. And then also from oh from one two three stitch. I got the Pretty Kitty monthly series. And it's one that was not in yet. I think it was January. Because I think this one is January. But here's what it looks like. And by Buttercup Designs. I got January. But I'm waiting on February to come to my house. But they didn't have it in when I ordered it. So that's. And then another one that I got, and I got from 123 Tits. This is also from 123 Tits. I got another Britter Cup Designs, and it's called Summer is in the Air. I love these patterns. And then. When I was on the cobweb website, cobweb corner website, I 
saw this pattern magazine that I never ever ever heard of before. It's totally one I never heard of ever. And it's called Cross Stitch Plus. And the issue is from May 1991. And here is what it I never ever heard of this pattern magazine in my entire stitching life. And I'm not I kind of like uh, can't think of the name of the pattern magazine. I kind of like the the uh, the old time pattern magazine that had the uh, the the Amid Amish Life series in it. I kind of like that. Craft Craft Needle Needlework or something like that. This is very similar to it. And uh, it does have a really nice pattern in it. And one, one, one of my favorites that I would like to do is called the Mill Stream. I would love to do that. You know, that's just, you know, then of course, you know, on the front, they tell you the baby Afghan. You know, and stuff like that, so. They got a little bit of everything in it. And then, then they got the, a uh, called. Just a minute, let me find it. I go home, sweet home. No. And it has pictures of houses. And it has the words home, sweet home to it. And there, there's it done on a Afghan. I would just love to do the houses. You know, and then they got the baby. They got the baby quilt blanket. It is so pretty. I would love to do that. So, they, they do have some really neat pattern and, you know, some really cute pattern in this. And these bits, oh, they are so darn cute and, and adorable. One, one is a puppy bed, puppy bib, and, and it's a table manner and it has a picture of a dog. And then the other one is called um, Piggy Bib. <coughs> and it says, I don't mean to be so messy. They are so cute. They, that's a puppy bib. And, and the pig bib. So the puppy one is this one right here. And then the piggy one is this one right here. They are so cute. So, so cute.
And then they got also, and I'm going to do this one because it's been my favorite ever since I, you know, heard of it. At the, um, the famous saying, red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky at morning, sailors take morning. So I am going to do that one. And then I can and then there is a I don't know if I can find it or not. There is a thing of butterflies and it's nothing but butterflies. I don't know if I can find it or not a picture of it. Yeah, and they got all the rest of them in here, but where the butterfly one is that I do not know. Let me see if I can find it on the back. There it is. That is all butterflies. And I want to do that one. Only I may be changing some of the colors to make it more color colorful. So yeah. So I got, you know, this pattern magazine from Cobweb Corner website for a real cheap price. So that is all of the haul. My whips, and that is everything that I have for you for this week to show you and to talk to you about and to enable all of you. So, well, and I did good. This is my second video in two weeks in a row. I'm doing good. Um, that is all for today, and I will see, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, and for commenting. I will see you in my next video, which will be next Saturday, the February, or March, the Sixth. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.